Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Timmy J. It's fucking dinner time, man. Um, I'm super nervous. I've never done this before. And I've heard of it. I've eaten it. And if you look at my ingredients, you're going to be like, what the fuck, dude? Um, so I got some James Taylor playing in the background. I know that I have to announce that because of copyright infringement laws and such. We're going to get to this, man. And we're going to tear it up. We're, we're going to do a pork loin roast. I believe it's bone-in. Um, again, fresh pork from my good friend Waylon up in North Stratford, New Hampshire. And um, like I said, man, I've never done this before. I've eaten it, I've never been taught it, but I've been told about it. And like I said, I've eaten it before, and it was pretty amazing. So, it's dinner time, bitches. So I learned from the last time, and I did that magical pepper thing, and I just cut my shit first. So what I have here is celery and red onion. And the reason I did that was because I didn't want to show you shit that I've already shown you. So now I'm going to show you something I haven't shown you. That's the point, right? So here is a clove of garlic. Well, it's, it's a bulb of garlic. Fresh as hell. That's the best way to buy garlic, by the way, is when it comes to this little netty thingy. Um, it stays fresh forever, man. So you're gonna have all this funny stuff on, on it, and you, you're gonna wanna break this up. So you're gonna want all this meniscus, so to speak. You want that gone. You wanna get into the clothes. So you're gonna tear up your bowl, and get all that shit off, man. Get that out of here. Get it done. And there you are, man. You're in the center. You're in the heart of the bowl now. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay? Now this is gonna take the longest. This is the longest process of this whole thing because all these flakes are gonna keep flaking off until you get to the heart of the coop. <laughs> or you could just buy mince garlic and make your life entirely easier. Uh, but anytime you feel like, okay, that's a perfect example. Anytime you feel where the garlic is starting to get soft, dude, uh, peel in the wind, check it out, dude, and when in doubt, throw it out. Uh, I can save that one. Like I said, this should last forever. So it's just one of those things, man. Look at that. Look at, look at how fucking perfect that is. Mm -hmm. Just absolute beautiful, fresh, smells good, dude. You know? I don't cut the tips, like the stem of the garlic off. I pick it right off of my finger. If you got a good fucking clove, man, it's going to be a good clove. The chef would have just yelled at me right now for doing that over the garbage. Uh, you just peel it away and peel it away and peel it away. Now, I don't know if it's a myth. I don't know how true it is. I, I honestly, this is an art cooking. That's what it is. See that? Throw that away, dude. Throw that away. That's gross. Um, I don't know. It's an art, so I don't believe anything. And you can pretty much do whatever you want. It's an art. Cooking, painting, writing songs. You know, it's an art. So it's like, I, I don't ever, yeah. But my grandmother told me, oh, look at that. Look at the rightness on that guy. Green in the center. This is our okay. Uh, but my grandmother always taught me to crush your garlic, then, um, then dice it up, you know, mince it, whatever you're going to do. Always crush it, always crush it. And I always ask her why. And I don't know how, like I said, I don't know how true it is. You know what I know is that she always told me. So 
I just believed her because she's my grandmother. But she said the reason she crushed it was to get the oils out of the garlic. Dude, I don't fucking know. So I'm going to crush my, my garlic to get the oils out. Because Nana Dublin told me so. <laughs> Again, this is going to be the longest part of the process. I'm so sorry you guys are held up. And somebody's probably got some really cool trick and some different way of doing it. Um, I don't. That's how I do it. So, what you're going to do with the garlic is you're going to crush it. Or you're not. It's your decision. Uh, that goes in the trash. And I believe there because like as you can see like when you crush your cloves as you can see the oil is just pouring out of it. Like it's stupid. It's sticky. It's gross. I'm going to wash my hands afterwards but before I do so I'm just going to kind of mince this up. I'm rough cutting this. Again, I'm wicked fucking nervous. I've never done this before. I'm venturing into a world I've never explored. So, there's your garlic lesson for the day, dude. We'll be right back. Hey, dudes. While you're gone, I quartered some potatoes. And then I remembered that I hadn't shown you that yet. Basically, you take a red bush potato and you literally quarter it. So you cut it in half, cut it in fours. So here's my shit, and now we're gonna do a rub. Now take a look at this fork. That is five pounds of the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen in my life. Look at that fat, look at that. And it is bone in, as I said at the beginning, where I wasn't sure. It's bone in, dude. But this is like, oh. Dude, look at Frost is fat ass right there. I always have to remember that my wife is full inside so I have to be careful what I say. Echo, volume two. I changed the music up to Carlos Santana to make it a little more romantic. There's nothing more romantic than Carlos Santana. So this is what I got. Um, sat down, I went through my old recipe book. And there's a lot of recipes in here, by the way. But it's all street recipes. So there is no tablespoons, teaspoons, measurements at all, dude, right? So I'm like, let's try the rib drop, dude. I use pork ribs when I make ribs. Gotta be good, right? I don't fuck it. All right, so this is where I decided to start. Um, so, ground cinnamon. One tablespoon. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta shut off that fan because it's blowing the cinnamon all over me. <laughs> so ground cinnamon, one tablespoon. Again, I use in the middle of my palm. Dude. Always wash your hands. Cinnamon on your pippy ain't good, dude. I told you guys this last video. We do a little garlic powder. Yes, because of the garlic, I don't care. I just love garlic. One tablespoon. Again, use some plus. This is why I'm doing it. I'm going on your... Dude, I hope you guys are getting as much entertainment out of this as my wife is getting right now. Because she's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> so, on your powder, one tablespoon. Wash your hands, because people don't like onion powder. Now, uh, shit like this, I gotta tell my wife about. Asian seasoning. I have less, less than a tablespoon in there. So we're going to use that whole thing. Throw that away. Put that on the grocery list. 
No paprika. Smoked. I always use smoked paprika. I don't know why. I don't like Hungarian paprika. I don't like regular paprika. I like paprika. Smoked. Better flavor, I feel. Dude, never mind your peppy, dude. You ever, have you ever wiped your butt after Cajun seasoning has been on your hands, dude? You will not sleep for days. TMI, but part of the show, dude. What I do, I'm an idiot. Of course, I had to go to old trusty, man. Like I told you in the last video. Uh, I got some, I, I actually got some really good, like, Creole training. Um, Southern food French, old school French stuff. And it's my favorite type of uh, cuisine. And always go to Old Trusty. Ground mustard, dude. Works every time. A ground mustard, just a little bit. We're going to do, a, a, a like, a tablespoon, not a teaspoon. Not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Just a little bit. That's all you need, a little flavor, you know? Now this is something that a lot of people don't even know about. In fact, to be honest with you, I didn't know about it until I started questioning. Barbecue seasoning. I use it a lot. It's pretty amazing. So we're gonna do a little barbecue seasoning. I'm gonna go a full tablespoon on this guy. Boom! And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a teaspoon of celery salt. Okay? Boom. This is your rub, man. I gotta wash my hands. And shut up my water. Now, next section, we're gonna rub that. Bitch. <laughs> woo woo woo. I am staring down. The most amazing five pounds I've ever seen in my entire life. Just look at that. I want to so badly carve off some of the fat, which most people would at this point at this point. But I'm kind of like making a roast with a sauce at the same time. So I want that fat to just like, just cook all night tonight, okay? And destroy my crock pot. Like, I want to wake up in the morning, dude, and see the most beautiful juices I've ever seen. Regardless of which, I'm sorry that I'm getting horny over pork fat, but that is the flavor. That's where you want to hit it. So you're going to take your rub now, right? And you're going to rub that butt. Dude. That's, you, that's not even a butt. It's a pork one, but it feels like a butt. It's nice like a butt. And you're going to rub that fat, dude, because you want what I just said. You want that to just pour out beautiful juiceness. So you're going to sprinkle. You're going to rub. Oh, God. Fucking so horny. Oh, you're so horny. But then you're going to want all your other seasonings all over the place. That's why I did what I did. So I'm going to just dump this. And I'm going to get fucking dirty with this bad bitch. And I'm just going to rub it. I'm just going to toss it around. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get aggressive with it. Because that's how she likes it. I feel so weird right now. This is so absurd while my wife is filming. Um... So we're gonna do that, we're gonna toss it around, we're gonna rub that, and now we're gonna put it in the slow cooker. My hands are filthy, they're disgusting, and I recommend not doing this. And we're gonna put that right in the middle. Boom. Did you hear it drop, dude? You want me to do it again? Dude, this is gonna be so good. Um, there's no specific way that it rests, you can Dude, you can, you can put it wherever you want to put it, dude. You know, however you want to put it, whatever position. 
it's good. So now what I'm going to do, first of all, wash your fucking hands. I couldn't even imagine what's on my hands right now um, from just making love to that. Regardless of my... I've never done this before, so I'm like makeshifting this one. So now what you're going to do, you're going to wash your hands, you're going to wipe them off, dude. You get your bowl. And this is pretty much the end game. So this is literally like, let's do this. Take all your shit that you diced up, quarter it off, and you're gonna put that right on top. That's what you're gonna do, okay? I grabbed baby carrots, so I didn't have to waste my fucking time cutting up. Bullshit, you can do whatever you want, however fresh you want. So, I'm gonna do a couple of carrots, dude. About a half a bag will work with this size. If you have a big, bigger crock pot, dude, hammer down. So, about, that, about a half a bag of carrots. I'm gonna take a bottle of Coca Cola. I would prefer roast, um, roast, root beer, but I want Coca-Cola on this one. Now when you pour it, pour it around, dude, so you don't overflow it. See what I'm saying? If I would've just gone straight, Amy would have a hell of a mess to pick up. <laughs> okay. I was told to use cognac, um, cause that's a French whiskey or whatever. But I'm Irish, so I went Irish whiskey, and I went down to the liquor store, and I, dude, I was so embarrassed. I haven't bought whiskey at a fucking liquor store in years. But anyway, so Jameson, I went Jamie. Jamie, dude, is that what they say? Is that the new trend? They they they, they call it Jamie. So you got Coca-Cola, whiskey, and what did I tell you before, man? If you ain't got bush, you ain't got... Well, I said chili in the last video, but what I'm going to say right now is if you ain't got bush, you ain't got beer. A little bit of beer. Dude. Actually, a whole can of beer. But again, pour it around, dude, because it will fizz up and... Again, I'm trying to make a sauce, slow cook this. Keep it moist, man, keep it moist. So there's your fluid. I'm gonna throw all this junk away so I don't get arrested. And uh, I'm gonna do one more thing for you guys. This is the key, dude, this right here. There is no ratio, man. It's all based on you. This is kosher salt. And cracked black, black pepper, like cracked black pepper, like I, I do it myself. And you just want to hit it a little bit, dude. You just want to hit it. So I'm going to do just a little bit. A bit of kosher salt, some black pepper, a couple of pinches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this on high. Put the cover on it. And it just sits overnight dude so I'm, I'll put this on low at like 11:30. so give it two hours eh, 11 15 got yeah, two hours I'll put it on low for another hour and then I'll put it on warm before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning I have no clue what's about to happen we'll find out when I wake up love you guys Just do it on. so like I told you guys 11:15. And uh, I got my fucking spoon here. And oh my god, it smells so fucking amazing. Oh yeah. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. Um, mm, mm. Oh, I horny right now. I kinda wanna eat it, but like, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Like I told you at the beginning of all this, I have 
no fucking clue how this is gonna turn out, but I can pretty much guarantee you that this is gonna be the most amazing thing that I've ever eaten in my entire entire life. And I'm thinking about like doing an egg over it. So like slice it. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so I can't tell you. I do know with that flavor and that smell, I'm probably gonna save the broth when I get sick of it. And just, dude, this is amazing. And that fat and the pork is just leaking into all of it, and I love it. And oh, I can't wait till the morning. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna put it on low. And just let it roast, I guess, uh, slow cook. I, I, I don't know the proper terms. But yeah, keep it moist and just get it done. Put the cover back on, put it on low. And um, I'll see you in the morning, dude. Because I'm Timmy J and it's dinner time, motherfucker. <laughs> so, um, Amy keeps yelling at me and tells me not to put the cover on there. And I'm going to mix this up a little bit. Dude, look at the caramelization on the fucking pork. Like, I'm so excited about this. It, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm gonna taste my shit is what I'm gonna do. And it's so good. It's I just wanna eat that broth. And that's hot. That's sweet. It's um Amazing, it's garlicky, it's it's fucking amazing. Um I literally don't know. I I've never done this before again and um This is just amazing. Like fuck you Canadian French Fuck you, Creole fucking Cajun motherfuckers. I love you guys. And it's just perfect. It's... Well, we'll see what happens in the morning. So I'm going to put it on warm. And I'm going to let it slow cook all night. I'm going to put the cover back on, dude. And I'm going to bed. And, um... Wow. That's all I have to say is wow. Just awesome flavor and like that fat because of that rub and that cinnamon taste, that garlic taste, really just brought it out. And um, I can taste the onions, I can tell it, I, I can taste devil neck. That's all I'm going to say is devil neck. C'est, uh, c'est ça beau, bienvenue, fuck you, but double knock, like, it's, wow, thank you. Alright man, I'm kind of nervous and excited and wearing my orange headband because, caution, I just woke up. I'm ready to go deep into... Whatever the fuck I made last night. So again, I put it on warm when I went to bed. I've been thinking about this all night. Oh, look at the fat just, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into this bitch. Again, I just woke up, so.
And I'm going to go right into the fat because that's what I've been miso honey about. Try to grab a piece of the meat as well. Oh, dude, it smells so good. It's... By the way, playing in the background is uh, my good friends, Mallory Weiss from Concord New Hampshire, Steve Shagnon, and Noah Brochu. You also may know Noah Brochu from the Brochu family that owns a sugar shack. And has been making you um, maple syrup and uh, sugar products for well over, Jesus, got a, I'm 39 as of yesterday. So, gotta be at least three times my age. Guys, so I'm gonna take, take a little bit of the sauce that I told you that I was trying to work on. I want some veggies. Oh yeah, potatoes, celery, some onions, man. Mm. And then I'm gonna go straight barreling on this bullshit. I'm gonna put the cover back on to keep it warm so anything you too. <coughs> and I'm going bulldog sauce. Because it's the greatest thing that God has ever created other than uh, me. Here we go, dude. We're trying this. As you can tell, I'm just going to dive into this, man. Because this is some amazing stuff. And, uh, yeah. I'm really proud of myself right now. I took on a venture that I thought was impossible. Based on just shit I was told. Again, I, I was not taught any of this. I literally was, hey, try this. And, yep, yeah, they were right. It's amazing. Or, no, sorry. It's dinner time. <laughs> 